I'm along I-20, right at exit 3 in Vicksburg, and this is the Church of Christ here, right along I-20, and you can see very large trees here down, large oak trees. Most of these are laying down in the west to east direction. That's because the strongest winds are on the south side of this tornado in that rear flank downdraft zone, and you can certainly see that on radar. This is a pretty wide damage path, but most of the damage does lie down in that west to east direction with the winds on the north side of this wide tornado much weaker than the winds on the south side. And I've also noticed that the damage is much worse on the top of these bluffs. Uh, right on the east side of the Mississippi River. The supercell came in from the southwest yesterday afternoon, crossed the Mississippi River, and the first tornado touched down just to the west of the river, and then it crossed the river moving through Vicksburg here. It was a rain-wrapped tornado, one of the more dangerous because you can't see it coming, but there was plenty of warning here in Vicksburg, and thankfully, there was no loss of life or injuries reported by this tornado, but it was a much different story there in eastern Texas for very sadly, uh, two children lost their lives uh, from that tornado uh, there in eastern Texas uh, in the town of Franklin. There's also a damaging tornado in eastern Texas last night that came very close to hitting the Columbus radar site, and that's the second damaging tornado so far this active spring in Dixie Alley. For AccuWeather, this is Meteorologist Reed Zimmer.